mtazamaji wa Digital News Tanzania karibu sana kwenye makala ambayo inaendelea kuelezea namna ambavyo kilimo cha zao la parachichi kinazidi kuimarika mkoa ni Njombe na sisi Digital News Tanzania tumekuwa tukifanya makala mbali mbali na nyingi zaidi ambazo zinaelezea namna ambavyo zao la parachichi linazidi kuimarika mkoa ni Njombe na namna ambavyo uwekezaji wake unazidi kukua siku hadi siku. Leo ni siku nyingine pia tunayo makala fupi inayoelezea namna ambavyo kilimo hiki kinazidi kuimarika na hii leo kilimo hiki cha zao la parachichi kimepokea ugeni mkubwa kutoka uh, nchini Marekani. Lengo kubwa la ugeni huu kufika hapa ni kwa ajili ya kuona namna gani ambavyo wanaweza kuwekeza katika zao la parachichi mkoa ni Njombe na zaidi ni katika ununuzi wa zao lenyewe la parachichi kutoka kwa wakulima. Ambapo hii leo shirika la Taha limepokea ugeni na kufanya kikao na ugeni kutoka kampuni ya World Holding Tanzania inayoongozwa na mwanzilishi wa kampuni hiyo ndugu Riyad Diwad. Ugeni huu umefika kwa mkulima maarufu mkoa ni Njombe bwana Nemes Green Garden ambaye amewapokea na kuwapitisha katika mashamba yake mbalimbali akieleza namna ambavyo zao hili la parachichi limekuwa likiendelea kustawi mkoa ni hapa. Na zaidi ugeni huu umefurahi baada ya kujionea namna ambavyo zao la parachichi linazidi kuimarika na linastawi zaidi mkoa wa Njombe. Kwa maneno yao wenyewe wanasema wako tayari kurejea mkoa ni Njombe msimu mpya wa mavuno ujao tayari kwa manunuzi ya tunda hili la parachichi na kulipeleka sokoni katika masoko ya Marekani. Hii maana kwamba tayari mlango mwingine wa zao la parachichi umefunguka katika masoko ya nchini Marekani. Kufahamu zaidi kuhusiana na ugeni huu mzito ambao umefika mkoa ni Njombe kwenye zao la parachichi, tafadhali fuatilia makala hii zaidi uweze kufahamu kwa undani wake zaidi. Usisahau kusubscribe channel yetu pamoja na kushare wewe wa kwanza kupata taarifa pindi tu tunapoziweka katika mtandao wetu. Mimi ni Ibrahim Godfrey Mlele. Uh, I'm Jim and I'm here um, representing buyers in the United States, retailers in the United States who are looking for a fresh and new product of avocados. We're here in Tanzania, excited about being here. Uh, it's one of the one of the best farms that I've seen anywhere in the globe. So, congratulations. Excited about working with Tanzania and uh, and the team here on the possibility of putting a system together to take tan avocados direct to the United States to the United States market and uh, we're looking at launching first quarter of 2023 with the idea of expanding uh, we're going to actually ship them they'll be picked here two days later they'll be in US market and they'll be product of Tanzania something that everyone can be proud of uh, the product I've seen here the love I've seen here as far as your care is is off the charts um, excited about bringing this to the United States and excited about seeing planes coming and landing in Jumbe 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 excuse me in Jumbe excited about seeing late planes land in Jumbe and taking fresh avocados from right at these farms right here to the United States and proudly displaying product of Tanzania so we we are here as a to basically launch Africa Fresh Direct the US market direct to Tanzania. We're launching in Tanzania with the US market and we have full plans on being direct from Jambe to the US. And things back to serve Tanzania in true bilateral trade. So stay tuned, we're going to have much more to talk about. Mimi naitwa Godfrey Simbe. Ni rais wa kampuni ya Ward Holdings Tanzania ambayo ni kampuni ya bwana uh, uh, Lloyd Ward lakini mimi ndio namwakilisha hapa Tanzania sasa alicho walichokuwa nakisema ni kwamba hii ni fursa kubwa sana ambayo wanaileta kutoka Marekani yani kwa kifupi wamefungua soko la kuuza maparachichi nchini Marekani na wanasema wao wangependa pia kwamba wapate miundo mbinu kwa mfano uh, wewe na waweze kutua hapa njombe moja kwa moja ndege itoke Marekani ije itoe njombe ichukue mzigo inaondoka kwenda Marekani siku mbili tu kufika kule zitakuwa zimeingia sokoni kwa hiyo wana wanachosema ni kwamba wameona maparachichi kutoka kwenye shamba la bwana Nemes wamependa kila kitu ambacho wamekiona na wanaahidi kwamba hii biashara itakuwa ni kubwa na biashara ambayo wao wanadhani kwamba itawasaidia wakulima wengi wa Tanzania na hata ambao 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 haukuwa hawataka hata kulima maparachichi wakishasikia soko kubwa kama hilo wata wataanza kulima maparachichi kwa hiyo ni fursa kwa nchi nzima na mimi ningependa kuwashawishi kuwashawishi wakulima wa mjombe wachangamkie hii fursa ya soko la marekani soko la marekani ni kubwa ni 
kama ambavyo tumeongea huko nyuma ni kwamba ile soko lina thamani ya dola bilioni mbili kule Marekani. Dola bilioni mbili Marekani. Na wananunua mzigo sasa hivi kutoka Mexico. Lakini wanataka kubadilisha. Watafute watapo si mwingine ya kupata maparachichi na wameichagua Tanzania. Na Tanzania wamekuja na kwa sababu pia uh, uh, kampuni hii ya World Holdings Tanzania iko chini ya iko nchini kwa muda wa miaka miwili na nusu. Na ndio maana World Holdings wamemleta huyu kuja Tanzania na yeye amependa. Kwa hiyo mimi naomba tu kitu wangu ni kwamba hii ni kweli na huyu bwana anarudi mwezi wa kumi, kukaa na wakulima hapa na Nemesis na watu wake waangalie namna gani tutapata tutaifanya hii kazi kwa pamoja. Kwa hiyo tunahitaji miundo mbinu kwa mfano ya park house iwepo ili iweze kufunga huu mzigo mkubwa. Na mmemsikia kama analeta ndege. Na amesema kama mzigo utakuwa ni mkubwa zaidi, yuko yeye yuko tayari kuleta ndege kila siku. Ichukue mzigo iondoke nayo kwenda Marekani. Kwa hiyo fursa hii jamani tupewe ni na Mungu jamani. Ni sisi tu kuchangamkia sasa. Na haya maneno tutamwambia mkuu wa mkoa kesho na tutakuwa na bwana Ernest kwa tukutana na mheshimiwa mtaka. Ah uh, tumpe historia ambayo imetoka. Nadhani hata yatafurahia sana. Tulikwenda taha taha umefurahia sana. Tumeungana na waziri Bashe, pia amekutana na waziri Bashe. Wamefurahia sana na kwamba wametupa rusa ya kuja kuongea na wakulima na tumemchagua bwana Nemes kuwa ndio mkulima wa mfano kuja <laughs> kwenye hii fursa asante sana kiufupi mimi kwa majina naitwa Steven George Mlimbila maafu kama Nemes Green Farm e, nilianza hii zoezi la kupanda miti mpaka sasa hivi na zaidi ya miaka 11 nilianza nikiwa na miti kama tisa. okay so uh, introduce yourself his name and uh, he started Mera 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 lakini baada ya hapo nilipoanza kuja kuuza nikanauza na nunua shamba na panda nauza na nunua shamba na panda mpaka sasa nimeshafikisha miche 7000 na nimeshanunua maeneo zaidi ya ekari 150 so that almost 7000 trees uh, uh, since and how he did it was each time he sold but but um, sold the one one more trees more trees more to the two from 9 to 7000 trees and how many years it is now 11 years and he, he has a, a total of 150 150 acres right now isn't it yeah acres yeah kwa mpaka sasa hivi 120 nimeshapanda zote hizi 30 ndo naendelea kupanda sasa hivi so 120 have been planted continues with the trees We like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> When I fly this cave, it's my wife. This uh, well, no, this is uh, good. We have a um, we're bringing a a market that has appetite. Amesimu meleta soko amuru dina dina leta ham. The U.S. market. We connect you connect you directly with. The US market. And so matoku ngoresha moja kwa moja kwa soko la la Marekani. No traders, no dealers, no handlers, no brokers directly. And so akutakuwa na mtu wa katikati hapo. Yaani kila kitu kitaenda huko. Wewe mwenyewe itaenda huko. Haya ile utakuwa kwa sisi wakulima au mimi binafsi itakuwa ni jambo zuri kwa sababu tunakuwa kuna changamoto nyingi hasa au madalali au mtu wakati wakati sisi mkulima tuna kupambana zaidi lakini nakuta tunapata mapato kidogo kwa sababu some great benefit to them because this is what I've been waiting for for a very long time. There's so many challenges with the middle man and it's been crazy all the time so to them this news is just and it's, 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 they get the land share, the, the middle man yeah. and then they get little. Yeah. Yeah. So tell them I'm a farmer that we have same heart. <laughs> 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 he's, a, he's a real farmer, world class farmer. Yeah. We, don't, don't, we, we don't like the middle man either. <laughs> But he's connected to all the big, um, yeah, maybe you've heard of these Kroger's, Walmart, 
all these big retailers, and we have a huge appetite in the U.S. We like avocados. I'm saying that we're trying to make sure 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 that we're trying to make here and said we will go direct from Africa direct to the USA and tell Jim partner with me and we're going to do it. And I said I could have one to Mungina and I was upset about the other to cooperate with the mother of the mother of Pereka, Marekan is for who are ye and Jens were bound you when you talk for you to go to Sherika. So 90% maybe you should tell them the story. So 90% of the US market is 2 billion, 2 billion annual. A billion dollars. Do, yeah. Dollar billion billion. Do so and you think, you think you can supply that for us? Ninety <laughs> percent <laughs> <laughs> comes from Mexico. Mexico. And last year, because of issues with avocado growers in Mexico, cartels and things that weren't so good, pesticides and things weren't so good, the U.S. banned Mexico. But they, they had no backup supply, no backup supply. So, so we want Tanzania to be a major player in that situation and get more of the supply as does the U.S. government. Ayo, ayo, ana mana sasa kamba barala wanataka kupunguza, kununua kutoka Mexico. Kwa sababu wewe wewe walipiga marufuku Mexico wataki kununua. Lakini hawakuna hawakuna mali pa kwenda. Wanapata wapi? Ikabidi warudi Mexico. Sasa anasema wanataka sasa kutoa kuachana na Mexico. Watafuta njia supply nyingine ndio wanakuja Tanzania. Moja kwa moja kutoka hapo mpaka Marekani. Hapa sisi tunawakaribisha sana na kuna juhudi tume tunapambana sana na tumeongeza uzalishaji mkubwa sana kwa tuna imani watapata mzigo wa kutosha. Mm. Mzigo ni mmoja, je? Bora. Okay. Tunapambana na kitu kwa jua hilo. Kwanza kitu cha kwanza He says, uh, how, how are you going to transport them uh, from here uh, to the US? Good question. <laughs> By air. I'm <laughs> flying them in. It's fresh. Fresh. <laughs> fresh. As soon, two days after you pick them, they're going to be in America. Two days. <laughs> 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 so, so, so uh, but what I want to why we can do it and others can't is that we're market makers. And so we say, how do we make this work? Jim and I were talking about it. So if we fly from here to the U.S., we then have to, we can't have our airplanes fly back empty. We have to fill them with something to bring back to Tanzania. So we create bilateral trade. We send avocados there. We bring back what Tanzania needs. And so we've been looking at how we make that work. And we found ways to work it. So we can go one way and come back. The plane is always full. That's the only way you can make air freight work. Yeah, kwa kifupi ni kwamba kwa nini sisi tunaweza kuliko wengine? Sisi ni wataalamu wa kutengeneza masoko. Kwa namna gani? Tuna njia ambayo tunaweza tunatumia na tunaendelea kui kui kuimarisha kuhakikisha kwamba bidhaa kitoka huku inakwenda kule Amerikani. Na kule inatoka Amerikani kujadiliana na hizo ndege basi zitakuwa zinaruka huku hazijitupu 
na ziendi tu sawa hiyo tunafanya sisi yeah. ndio maana tuko tofauti na wengine hakuna yeah. mtu anaweza kufanya hivyo sawa sawa with Jim's help we will actually own our own flights our own cargo flights yeah. uh, and let them know that we don't want to be a buyer we want to be a buyer. wenyewe sawa wenyewe lakini kiongeza hilo mambo anasema tunachohitaji tunakwenda so to be that kia tunaona uhusiano mzuri kati ya wewe kama mkulima na wenzako na sisi kama so uhusiano uhusiano sawa tell them also that we don't our buyers don't we don't buy a spot we don't buy here and then here we want a continuous flow as we serve our market we've got to know that there will be a level we have to have a cost structure that's makes us to us and makes us to our buyers the muhimu jambo lao lisema kwamba tunachohitaji atuchukue hobi hobi Unahitaji na kwa sababu hiyo sisi tunaamini kwamba tutaweza kusaidiana. Ndio ushirikiano tunao sasa. Ama kama, kama kuna hitaji uwezeshwa kidogo basi tutaiangalia yote. Lakini umuhimu ni kwamba tunataka ni bora na bila itoki mara kwa mara. Wewe unasumbuliwa na Tanzania? Wale ma, madalari wale ambao wanakupokea kama tuuzie wewe una uzapi mali mali kwa hiyo? Eh mimi naanzia kwa kampuni moja inaitwa Tanzanite lakini kuna wakati mwingine mwaka huu aliimba yumba kidogo kwa hiyo ukawa nakuja tu mtu mnunuzi yeyote mara mwisho tu tunauzia Kate kampuni moja inaitwa Kate. Mm. Hii ni ya Kenya hii. Lakini bado super lucky ni kasi la uhakika sana. Sababu hata sisi hatuwezi kumuuzia Kate moja kwa moja wako watu wa mtu wakati. Na mara moja tunaweza kupata Kate. Kwa hiyo kuna kwa kuna mlo mrefu kidogo. So so eh, sasa You, you hear what he says here. He says um, he had he had a prob the, he was supplying to a company called Tanzania. That that was the 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 taker. But uh, the taker got into problems, so they, they couldn't buy. So other other dealers came in. You know they were buying. You know they this one comes today, this one comes this, and they they they, they buy the dealers and they sell to someone to another company, which is best here as well. So, okay, so yeah so na chukishia huyu ni kwamba sasa yeye atakuwa ni ile consistent unapeleka wewe unakuwa unajua hiyo mzigo unaenda Marekani Marekani una haja kusubuka na mtu yote wewe unasema mzigo unaenda Marekani bas unakuja una chukua kubwa tu ya eh ndio inakuja na tua yenyewe ndege hapa inabeba mafarashishi unaona basi ile ni jambo zuri na linachukua moyo sisi kama wakulima naomba ukumbuke kitu kimoja kwenye swala la soko the market ndio soko la Marekani ina thamani ya dola ngapi bilioni mbili bilioni mbili dola bilioni mbili kwa hiyo ni soko kubwa mno lakini linahitaji utaratibu sasa kwamba inapatikana kwa wakati na kwa namna ambayo tunaelewa sasa ndio sio basi ana shida he says he likes he likes your your the way you're going to buy from him he likes it and uh, once we we agree he will not be selling to anybody he'll be waiting for Uh, the export to the US market. We're ready to start immediately for the next harvest. We need to think through that and get our plan together. So uh, again, uh, let them know that we're working with Taha to get the uh, avocado authorized direct in the US. And in the meantime, we're working on alternatives. And I'm, because the, the avocado currently isn't authorized in the US, so I have to work with Taha because the uh, Tanzanian government has to request that. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Anasema tu utafanya kazi na taa kwa sababu ya kupata vile vibali lakini pia tunakuhakikisha ile ubora. Tunasema tunakuja kuwatembelea kufanya zile gaps. Kuona je tunafikia lile 
uhitaji wa leo letu kwa sababu lazima kuwe kuna standards zinazotakiwa kwa sababu tunalinda hiyo kwamba tunafanya kazi na taha kwa ajili ya kusaidia ili tuweze kulifikia ile soko letu na vyombo vingine vya serikali kama wizara na kadhalika kwa sababu kupeleka kupeleka maparachichi marekani lazima kule kule nchi ya marekani ikubaliane na ubora sasa kwa hiyo kazi itakuwa ni ya taha tutafanya kazi watafanya wewe sio kazi yako wewe kazi yako lima tu ndio mabomba parachichi bora hawa ndio kazi yao kuna ku hakisha tupate cha kubali kwa marekani wadi nzuri huyu jim na yeye na yeye anafahamika sana marekani sasa kwa upande wa marekani serikali ya marekani kutoe cha kubali huyu atasaidia sasa basi kwa ni jambo hili sana i was telling him that uh, on the side of the us government you will be working with them on that side and from the side of tanzania taha will be working with the government here yeah, you you have a beautiful farm um i will tell them this is a, a good operation and there's nothing to worry about um this is a beautiful farm and and he is a tell me your certification i am a global food safety expert hasap global food safety sqs yeah so um if if i tell them that i saw um that goes a long way because i certify farms around the world for global food safety we won ni mamlaka yeah ni masuala ya chakula chakula bora na ubora wake dishe na ubora wake ni mamlaka tosha kabisa ambao kula amerikani wanamheshimu na ana vieti sasa vya ki mataifa kwa hiyo kuja hapa kukuambia kwamba shamba lako ni nzuri ndugu yangu hapo tayari una 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 degree nashukuru sana nashukuru sana nashukuru sana tell him about how you help other farmers how the farmers see the the training of them and how generous you are with what you learn what you know and how to get to other farmers. Hebu mueleze. Ah anasema anataka umuelewe kwa Kiswahili. Ndio Kiswahili. Anataka kwa umueleze ni namna gani ambapo wewe utaweza kusaidia wale wana kikundi kama vile tunavyofanya na kikundi chako. Namna gani ambapo tutaweza kufanya? Eh mimi kwanza ni mwenyekiti wa kikundi na kikundi cha wakulima wengine ambao kwa zaidi ya sabini. Hapo. First of all is the chairman of the small scale seven is small scale farmers na tuna uhakika kutoa mzigo mkubwa sana kwa mwaka mmoja and they have they, have, they will they are sure they are sure they produce produce eh hapo jacket hesabu sana sana lakini mezani ya kini zani ni zaidi ya tani kama ni container kama vingine 100 kwa mwaka mzima tunatoa okay so with all these structures and the small scale farmers that he guarantees that the produce will be up to how many 100 ton 100 containers 100 containers so the lakini haya mazao yamekuwa yakiongezeka mwaka hadi mwaka kwa hiyo mimi imani kwa mfano kuanzia mwakani tunaweza kutoa tani nyingi zaidi hata mara tatu ya hizi ambazo tumetoa mwaka huu so the tonnage is incremental. Sure. Okay, so he believes and is very sure that as we go along, particularly for the next season, it will be high yield, three times the tonnage. That would be excellent. Yes. Um, we, um, commercially, we need you to funnel all those in so that we're not dealing with 70 different farmers. Yeah, That's exactly what we want to do. Exactly. That's exactly what we want yeah. to do. So, na sisi tumekuwa na utaratibu ule kwa kwamba kila tarehe nane wakulima tunakutana pamoja tunajadili namna ya huduma e, kama kuna vitu vingine vipya vimekuja basi tunashauriana kwenye hicho kitao na tunatembeleana mashambani kwa kisha tunahudumia kwa kiwango kile ambacho soko linahitaji okay so you're telling us telling us how how you operate in terms of keeping everybody together sure. have, uh, monthly meetings 
uh, you know, check checkpoints and you know, quality assurance and stuff like that. What time is it? What time is it? Ah, okay, okay. So that's it. Wow, what you say, my? I'm only now becoming very confident. I'm not going to be able to pass on the club. I came in here and I saw such a thing. Now I understand. Now I understand. Now I understand. Wewe au jiko jinsi ulivyojipanga ndio na kujua wewe pengine na kamati yako ndogo hivi watu tutakuwa na 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 sio wale wale tunajua tunaoona zana nao au sio hamna shida mimi kazi nzuri katika miche kiwango kizuri chenye ubora na tunakuwa uzia tunatoa na elimu namna ya kwenda kupanda na namna ya kwenda kudumia okay so um, it's his duty when he feels obliged to do exactly what you said. Uh, teach farmers, have them show them what the right seedlings, what to do right, what to do wrong, and uh, guide them along the way throughout uh, the nursery period until you know the trees are all grown. So he's attached to them on a full-time basis. You know, and, and it comes from basically he does it. Okay, this is Tafikambari, <laughs> kwamba mliko kwenye utekelezaji. Sasa ni kama ungekuja umeenda umerudi tena kwaona napata imani. Sababu wengi kwa sababu tukapokea wageni wakaja alafu wakienda basi hawarudi tena. Lakini wamerudi mara mbili kwa imani kwamba kuna kitu ambacho most intrigued most intrigued because he says a lot of people come nice stories, big stories and then you know like a library. So he's really touched by what you've said but mostly by the fact that you not just come alone. You have to become heavyweight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's someone. the heavyweight. <laughs> I'm the lightweight. He's the heavyweight. <laughs> but yeah. yes, together we're in trade. Together, uh, yeah. together we are very heavy together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. So buy it not only because it's better, but buy it because it makes a difference. Yes, it's gone. You're the marketing guy. I'm sorry. I'll get out of your lane. <laughs> no, he has to, he has to give us uh, That's insight. You know, the prices that you will be cut cheap. Things back to serve Tanzania and true bilateral trade. So stay tuned. We're going to have much more to talk about. You are watching Digital News Tanzania.